Hi, this is Mike at Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, I have a Holley 4000 here with a frozen uh, uh, automatic choke, uh, which is just typical on these things. You can see it doesn't move at all. Uh, but, you know, these are very hard, very rare, so uh, uh, I'm going to uh, take it apart and clean it up and make it work like new. You know, I just thought I'd do a video on uh, what I do. Uh, it's not space age technology, but it does work. Yeah, and of course, this will show you how things go together. Now notice that there's a little uh, flat washer, a little brass one that goes back here. Okay, we're going to take this loose next. Got to get it out of the way of our screw. And uh, let's see, find a little tool that fits that. Eight millimeter, but I know it's not an eight millimeter. It's probably a three eighths. So it's got a lock washer on there, and it's got this little part. You can see it just fits on that little uh, deal right there. Now what we got to do? Kind of got that out of the way a little bit. Take this screw off. Okay. All right, so we got it away from the carburetor. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this on, I'm going to put in the vise, and I'm just going to drill a hole in this with a drill and uh, pop this out. Okay, so what I did, I drilled a hole in it, and then it's got my screwdriver and got in a hole and just pried that and I popped that little aluminum thing out. There's a little ledge right here that uh, is kind of, um, oh, kind of covers it to keep it in. Uh, we'll do a little bit, something a little bit different. Uh, but at any rate, uh, so then what I do is I take a, a brass punch. Be sure you use brass because uh, that... Uh, piston in there is probably brass and you gotta I just kinda tapped it like that and it came out you may have to hit it with a hammer a little bit um, just take your time so you don't ruin it anyhow it, these are kind of a booger to get out sometimes I have to play with them Off of there. Anyway, gotta be careful so we don't break it. That's <laughs> my grandson. Okay. Anyway, I'll just keep messing with it here. I gotta get it. Oh, I see what's wrong. The screw's in the way now. Okay. There we go. Now we got it out. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go buff this off real good. And then I have a wire brush. Uh, anything you can find that'll go in there. It's actually a little bit too big. If you got some kind of a bottle brush that size, that'd be great. Anything to clean the gunk out of there. 
because you want that piston to move up and down there really real easy you don't want it binding up okay so now I'm going to go clean this up and I'll go buff this off real good and then we'll uh, work on getting it all back together you see this piece is moves now so we're good to go there Okay, so here we go. We're going to put this back together. I got it all nice and cleaned up. Um, in the carburetor world, you know, uh, cleanliness is probably 95% of the work. Uh, this thing here, I got it all buffed out. <clears throat> now, you want to get this thing so that these uh, uh, articulated uh, mess <laughs> is uh, very clean and uh, moves very freely. Otherwise, it's going to bind up. And I, I have a feeling that's a, a lot of the problem with uh, uh, this particular choke. Uh, why they get froze up all the time is because of the this uh, design that they did here. All right, so uh, there's our little lever. Goes in there first. Uh, and then uh, this may take a few times. Uh, goes something like this. trick is getting this in there and like I said before it's uh, it took a uh, kind of like a bottle brush and cleaned out the hole here you have to hold your tongue just right or it's not going to go in there And then that's the wrong way because this has to go over here at some point. So we need to go this way. There, something like that. Yeah, we're getting her. Now, at some point, you need to get the uh, the shortest of the three screws. Pretty sure it's the shortest one. Incidentally, well, uh, notice it right here, and you're going to put a gasket on this when you put it back on the carburetor. Uh, this is where your vacuum goes. Uh, you, the vacuum is fed through this hole here, and it comes in here, and, and uh, what it does, it helps uh, uh, bring up the uh, heat through the heat tube here. So that's what that's for. Now, I know if I don't get this screw in at some point, I may never get it in there. So, because this arm that gets in the way, I'll tell you that is an engineering marvel. If I've ever seen one. Pretty sure this all turns this way. Okay. And we can actually pull this back, get it out of the way, maybe. There. All right. Okay. 
there we go okay <clears throat> so as you can see this is uh, that's the direction this is in I'm pretty sure I have that correct all right so get that over the shoulder there okay my guess is this is only go one way so yeah eventually you get it right so we'll put this on here okay and uh, you got our little uh, lock washer it goes on and then our little nut All right, probably get, of course, the last one I grab is the right one. All right, as you recall, this little washer goes on here. Sure, you put put a washer on there if you don't have one. Find one. It's uh, my guess is that's uh, what keeps it from binding. It sets sets it up just a little bit. Okay, so there we go. nice and free look at there you can even spray a little silk and spray lubricant in there um, I will do that it even makes it better all right so then we got this little uh, clean out plug that uh, uh, we have a little hardware kit we sell for the Holly 4000. We provide that. <clears throat> I suppose you could uh, you can use just about anything, a piece of aluminum or something. And I get a little JB weld here and mix it up just a, uh, a very small amount. And uh, there you go. So there you go, just like new. So we started out with a, a, a choke housing that, that probably most people would just throw away and try to find another one. I know I get calls about these all the time and there we, we made it uh, practically in, uh, good as new. So there you go. I hope that little, uh, this little tip helps you and, uh, uh, on your Holly 4000. Thank you so much for watching.